Hello everyone, welcome back. We are playing Vandal Hearts 1 for the PS1. And it is 5.19 in the morning, and I am recording now. What the hell is wrong with me? Well, honestly, I just couldn't sleep. I don't know, it's been a long ass day, and... I just couldn't seem to sleep. You know, I get like that sometimes, insomnia or whatever. But, I mean, I had a little nap or whatever, but I couldn't sleep, so I was like, you know what, let me just go and record my Vandal Hearts episode for the day. Because I haven't done that yet. You know, I already recorded, uh... My Final Fantasy VI for earlier, and I really got to start recording in in segments again. You know, in sessions. I used to record like when I was recording Final Fantasy X. I used to record that in large, you know, one-hour sessions or five-episode sessions, stuff like that. And because of work and all that, I just haven't been able to do that. So hopefully, I can get back to that soon because it makes things a hell of a lot easier. But um, there is one thing I've been meaning to talk about, and I figure, since it's a ridiculous witching hour, whatever whatever people consider it, at 5.20 in the morning. <clears throat> Basically, I've been meaning to talk about um, the LP community in general, as a whole, in the, over the last, you know, three, two, three months or so. And, you know, I'm not trying to start a flame war or anything, but it just seems like so many people who used to have, like, be inspired, or, and I'm not just talking about people who make videos, but people who comment on videos, I don't know, maybe it's the 15 minute timeline or whatever, but, it just seems like to me that, like, there's so much more negative criticism going out there towards, uh, certain games, like, like, for example, you know, I'm not trying to sh put out names or anything, but just, just recently, I got so much negative criticism, on this game, it's unbelievable. Like, like someone saying that this game was completely ripped from uh, Sue Code and One, which is kind of funny because this game actually came out. Uh, this game uh, uh, directly came out. It did come out a year after Sue Code and One, and you know they're saying that a lot of the story elements and whatever of this game was ripped from there. <clears throat> but interestingly enough, this game was actually being developed. A whole, f almost a whole full year before Sukoda 1 was being developed. So technically, the concept for this idea is more original than Sukoda. But anyways, that's besides the point. It's just uh, the whole thing I'm trying to say or bring up is that you know people don't even do their research anymore before commenting on videos. You know, and and that's I guess the frustrating part. It's like you wish people would do their research before just making ludicrous claims like that, but whatever, you can't let, you can't let, you know, two or three people spoil the fun of, uh, making a video, you know, or making, uh, making videos just because they're not happy, or, you know, they just need something to argue about, it seems like it's like, it's been like that for, for, you know, the last couple months or so, but maybe it's just me, I don't know, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, it's, I, I, it's just frustrating because you put so much effort into making your videos and people, you know, always bring it down like that, but I guess it is the nature of uh, what we do here, anyway. <clears throat> yes, and yes, I did apply for partnership again. We'll see what happens with that. For some reason, I'm not holding my breath. Holy shit, Clint's down to three health, damn. Yeah, for some reason, I'm not really holding my breath about the partnership. Just have that... I don't really feel good that I'm gonna get it. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being pessimistic, but I already... I mean, I got rejected once before, and it's pretty likely I could get rejected again. But whatever, it's just all... You know, I don't really care about the partnership. I just... My main goal here is to, just to enjoy making my videos, and in return, hope that there's a couple people that enjoy watching mine. But, you know, my views don't really don't really uh, add up anyway. I got, you figure, I have uh, almost 4,000 subscribers, and I get like an average of 250 to 300 views on a video. So yeah, that doesn't really make too much sense. That's like, what, eight? Not even eight, that's like 6% of my subscriber base who actually watch my videos. Ah, uh, but whatever, what are you gonna do, you know? That's how it is. 
Anyways, let's attack this treasure chest and open it up. You know, while I was here blabbing, I completely annihilated the rest of the enemy, so... Now I can just... You'll notice the, the, the battle didn't end, which is kind of weird. That's unusual. Well, again, like I said, in this game, it's all about the winning conditions. And the winning conditions of this battle was to make it to the uh, castle steps with Ash. So, I'm just getting everyone in position here to beat the battle. And then we'll be good. Ugh, I got like freaking heartburn here. It's killing me. So if I sound weird, that's probably why, because I got heartburn, it's driving me nuts. Alright, turn over. Enemy's turn, there is no enemies left. Right back to my turn. Ash is almost there. Okay. There you go, we won the battle. You win! And yes, we get money for every guy we killed. 660 gold to be exact. Now loading! And again guys, I think I'll mention it again for the third time since people don't pay attention. Because they've asked me about it even though I explained it twice. This I'm playing on a ROM and the ROM is glitched. So the text is glitched. It's not a big deal though because I can still read through it. So unless it bothers you that much, you know, whatever. You're surrounded. Drop your weapons. We don't want any more needless bloodshed. You mean that, don't you? Of course I do. Don't listen, Count. He's a blood drinking devil. But if we continue, everyone will die. Excuse me, Count, but how how can you trust these soldiers that just slaughtered us? That's a good point. Well, peace needs to begin somewhere. Oh, so this, means seem, this man seems different than those crimson murderers. I'll give him a chance. We surrender. To your will. <laughs> so they drop their sticks. I'm Ash Lambert, Ishtarian Security Force. Thank you for your quick compliance. My name is Roland Claymore. This riot is my responsibility. Please do not blame anyone else. We have laws here. It's not for me to decide, but I will report that you offered us no resistance. That's enough. Stop right there. Oh, it's Kane again. And his annoying army. The Crimson Guards have come back? Nice job for a bunch of weaklings like you. But we'll assume control from this point on. Or maybe the son of a traitor wants to take credit for this? I want no credit. Do as you like. Maybe not the best thing to do. Thank you. I will. Which one is Claymore? I am. Good. Come over here. I have no need for the others. Kill them! <laughs> ah, the blood! Damn, these guys are insane. Damn, those guys, those poor guys didn't do anything. What have you done? Damn, man. They just slaughtered everybody. They were... They surrendered. But they got killed anyway. Murderer! I won't forget this. Cain, you bastard. So the traitor finally shows his colors. Good, I've wanted to cross swords with you for a long time. Man, that's a big-ass sword, man. Put that shit away. Stop it, you two! Clive? Commander Beckett! You're both sworn to defend this country! Yeah, we just go about it in different means, I guess. Let, let it, leave us be, old man. You have best watch what mouth of yours, Kane. 
The Crimson Guard is already in enough trouble with the Council. More trouble, and even your dad, Hellspite, won't be able to help. Save your hollow threats for someone else. But I will be a big man and forget your rude words to me today. However, I'm taking this old blue blood with me. Damn him. Thanks for staying cool, Ash. It'll be fine. It will be fine. It's raining like crazy outside. It's been raining for two weeks straight. Good God. It's terrible. It's terrible. It is terrible. The next day. Excuse me, sir. Oh, you must be Ash. Indeed he died. Ash, this is Dolph Crawley, a suspicious motherfucker. A representative from the Young Revolutionary Party of Rolly. I mean, party, sorry. Once again, the text is throwing me off. Ah, nice to meet you. Dolph has been sent out as a mediator to deal with yesterday's incident. Hmm. I understand exactly how you feel, Ash. The Crimson Guards were completely at fault in yesterday's massacre. Normally, there would be a need for a mediator in, in case like this, but there are a few complications. As you know, the Crimson Guards are a project of Hellspites, the Minister of Defense, the Cheeseheads of Quakers, the Quakers of the Cheeseheads, and the crazy realists who do whatever they want. Hmm. Huh. He personally thinks they're dangerous? Two council members are becoming competing to become head. Hellspites and Renault Castile. Domestic security forces. You're saying it's more than just a personal grudge between us and the Crimson Guard? Do you think it could escalate into an all-out confrontation? Well, it's possible. But we need to actually avoid something. I can't read. It's so messed up. So what do we do? As punishment, we'll send you on leave away from your processing duties in the capital. Your cover. The truth is that I have a top secret assignment for you. So he's giving Ash a punishment, but it's actual se a top secret assignment. Interesting. So what is this top secret mission? Do you know who General Magnus Dunbar is? Of course, the greatest hero of the country. Why? He's also second in line beyond hell in the defense ministry. Well, three months ago, he went to Gilberis Island with a squad of hand-picked soldiers and hell hasn't been seen since. Gilberis Island in the Gardar Sea? Why? I don't know, but I've had heard rumors that he was acting on secret orders from hell. This is the, the basically the intro we saw with, with that guy Magnus who... Um, just disappeared in the intro. Remember the guy who touched the, the stupid uh, orb or whatever it is that he shouldn't have touched? Well, that's what they're talking about. So our mission is to go find out what happened to him. Aw, oh, shit. The secret assignment makes me uneasy. I'm still not personally sure how much we can believe this Dolph. Ah, smart man. Dolph did look a little fishy, that Dolph guy who just sent us on a mission, so... Maybe you're right, maybe we're wrong. Who knows? Anyway, we can't ignore what happened to General Magnus. That's true. I wanted to take a vacation anyway. I understand, but this is a dangerous assignment. I want you to be careful every step of the way. Indeed, he died. Let's head out! To the palace ruins. On our way, en route to where uh, our good old friend Magnus disappeared, apparently. This was the palace of the Ashton dynasty? Fifteen years ago, Eris' army arrived here. This magnificent fountain was burned to the ground. He 
Even now, when it grows dark, the spirits of the dead haunt this place. Hey, cut it out! You're giving me the creeps! The damn spirits! Uh-oh. Go back from where you came. Eek! A curse will befall whole winter! Don't be silly! Nothing to be afraid of! Fools die, then, if you wish, on our next episode of Vandal Hearts. What will happen? Ah!